by Skydance by the middle of 2025. But what does that mean for Star Trek? Welcome to SciTrek, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. Well, we've already talked about this a little bit, and we already know that Skydance are not as keen on Alex Kurtzman and Secret Hideout, but mainly Alex Kurtzman, as maybe others. They have worked with the J.J. Abrams um, projects and those Star Trek projects and have worked directly with Alex Kurtzman. There, we're being told by a couple of insiders, not so keen, but we really didn't have much detail when we talked about this previously. Now we do. Now, just like we talked about the Edgar Bronfman deal and actually how people from Edgar Bronfman's consortium had spoken to some of the big production companies that work with Paramount to sort of feel them out. What would they be expecting if the Bronfman Consortium had got been successful with their deal? What would their plans be over the next five years? And so on and so on. Well, Skydance have been having the same conversations. And now, thanks to one insider particularly that gets to speak to us over at Sidetrack, we know what those conversations have involved. Right, so this basically is a conversation about what Star Trek will be for the next five years. And I'm not going to mess you around here. Skydance have basically told Secret Hideout the only TV shows in production at the time when the, their current deal ends at the end of 2025 will be continued. That there will be a contract for those television shows, not everything else. So at the moment, Secret Hideout has a blank Star Trek contract. They produce Star Trek for Paramount television and actually more involved in the movies now as well. That will not continue, according to our sources, under Skydance. Now, that does mean that Secret Hideout will be able to continue to produce Strange New Worlds, for definitely. Um, I'm hearing a third season of Prodigy is very possible, but that would be that would be concluded well before this deal happens, because it's going to be the end of 2025 we're talking about here. So a fourth and fifth season of Strange New Worlds, yes. I think Academy, if it's popular will be continuing, but it actually will actually have, the first season should have aired or be about to air by the time we're talking about here again, towards the end of 2025. And basically anything else that a secret writer have started. So this whole sitcom idea that they've got, that should be um, well underway. Um, the first season may even even completed filming by the time again, we're talking about the end of 2025. So when Skylands get into power at Paramount in the middle of 2025, they will review what is currently in production. They'll look at the Paramount Secret Hideout deal and they will revert back to sort of a more traditional studio production company deal. Whereas there will be a contract to produce Strange New Worlds. There will be a contract to produce Academy if it continues. And anything that they like will get a contract. Anything they don't like won't. This will be a long term strategy. I'm being told towards removing Secret Hideout from Star Trek. Something that is actually not that easy to do. Do. Now, again, we've talked about this in videos previously, but if you're not a regular side trekker, you won't maybe understand why. Well, Secret Hideout produces Star Trek for Paramount. Paramount own the intellectual property of Star Trek, but they don't necessarily own anything original that Secret Hideout then do with Star Trek. Now, this isn't something that Secret Hideout could then use if their contract ended. They couldn't go away and create new Star Trek and just call it, you know, Star Fleck or something and carry on with Anson Mount and his hair and everybody doing a Strange New Worlds and just like avoid calling it the Enterprise or something. They couldn't do that. But Paramount can't go on and make Strange New Worlds either because Elements of Strange New Worlds is owned by Secret Hideout. Kind of. I had this explained to me by a lawyer that works in the entertainment industry. And I have to admit, even when he explained to me, I didn't really 100% understand it. But essentially, that's what it means. So, currently, Strange New Worlds and then Academy and, say, Prodigy and this new other show that's come in with the sitcom, Star Trek. We go in Star Trek 90210, that Star Trek show. That's 70 show. That Star Trek show. <laughs> and I don't know. I will get Strange New Worlds that we actually want to watch. Maybe, God knows, we might get Legacy by then. I'm being told that's still planned to be announced by the end of this year. But we'll see. Everything's up in the air at the moment. So there is this long-term plan to remove Secret Hideout and bring Star Trek back in-house. Now, obviously, 
This would also mean, though, that Paramount could bring on other production companies to do other Star Trek shows. As we say, at the moment, Star Trek is Secret Hideout, Secret Hideout is Star Trek. It's as simple as that. But once the current contract with Paramount comes to an end towards the end of 2025 and these new contracts for specific shows come on, it basically means that Paramount are, are once again free to do what they want with the Star Trek shows beyond what Secret Hideout do. Now, this is going to be a massive problem in lots of ways for Alex Kurtzman because they have a very active deal with Paramount and they are allowed currently to produce virtually whatever they want. They also then have the right to try to sell those shows to other companies like Amazon, like they did with Picard. That would end. They would not be able to do that in future. So it is very restricting for Alex Kurtzman and his big plans for the future. But it would give a lot of that power back to actually Paramount's and Paramount's new owners of Skydance. I think this is probably what's best for Star Trek franchise in the future. You know, guys, if you're a regular side trekker, I'm not the biggest Alex Kurtzman fan. I moaned about it a little bit in the last video, so we won't go over it again. I actually think that under Alex Kurtzman, Star Trek has become very confused. We have several different shows, really with several different sort of genres almost within each show, being aimed at several different demographics of people. I think we have how many different timelines currently running with Star Trek that's also very confusing for anybody but the hardcore fan. And we're now going to be getting movies, etc. as well, that also might exist within def different timelines or even, God forbid, different universes. I just think that Alex Kurtzman has been a very negative influence on Star Trek in the last few years, and it will be a good thing if things are simplified. Now, if Paramount bring in other production companies, there is a risk that obviously that might complicate things even further. But it might just give Paramount enough influence once again over Secret Hideout and Alex Kurtzman to get back to them doing what they're told. Now, we've seen that in the last couple of years where Paramount was really pushing Alex Kurtzman to bring Star Trek back towards what a lot of Trekkies like us think of as Star Trek. That was why we got Picard Season 3. That's why we got Lower Decks, because Kurtzman was not as involved. Currently, Paramount are telling Secret Hideout and Alex Kurtzman that their chains are off and they can do what they want, and they're getting on with a lot of announcements. As soon as Skydance come in, though, that will change again. And as I said, we're being told that Skydance intend coming down on Secret Hideout like a pig in ton of bricks. And hopefully that will be a good thing for Star Trek in the long run. But guys, get into the comments and tell me what you think, because this is still very up in the air. But from the conversations that we know have happened over at Paramount, are you feeling a little bit more confident that actually Paramount no longer intend giving Alex Kurtzman and Secret Hideout free reign, that they will actually force them to do Star Trek that Paramount wants? Is that encouraging? Or actually, do you love what we've had in the last five years, six years, seven years off Alex Kurtzman and just want to see more of his creative freedom? Get into the comments and tell me exactly what you think. Go over to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack to support the channel and to get all of these videos much quicker than everyone else. Also, don't forget that if you are new to the channel, to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification. It really helps us out. As always, live long, prosper, stay well, and I'll see you next time.